Do you believe? Well, so far there has been no scientific evidence for alien life. Now NASA plans to examine new territory, extraterrestrial oceans. And they want swarms of tiny robots to do the job. Come again. How does that work? And could it really improve our chances to find alien life? There's new and uncharted territory when it comes to space exploration, ocean worlds. Scientists are convinced that there is extraterrestrial liquid water not too far away from Earth, meaning in our solar system. Water is recognized as one of the key requirements for life as we know it. So its presence increases the likelihood to find extraterrestrial life as well. Researchers estimate that more than a quarter of the more than 5,000 known exoplanets may have liquid water. In order to explore these uncharted waters, NASA engineer Ethan Scaler developed the concept aptly named SWIM. How does it work? After landing on a moon or planet, a so-called cryobot could drill through the ice caps. Once reaching the water beneath, it could release a swarm of smartphone-sized micro-robots. Each robot would have its own onboard computer and a propulsion system. They would be able to communicate via ultrasound, comparable to dolphins, and would have various sensors to measure things like temperature, acidity, pressure or other variables. To put it simply, the robots would form a swarm of communicating robotic fish. Where will it happen? The most promising candidates for nearby subsurface oceans are Saturn's moon Enceladus. Scientists have observed water plumes erupting there and Jupiter's moon Europa. Hidden beneath its icy surface, experts assume a saltwater reservoir that contains more water than Earth's oceans combined. That's why NASA is planning to launch a first mission to Europa as early as 2024 to collect more data. If they should really find the ocean, SWIM could play an important part in future expeditions. What are the chances of finding alien life with SWIM? So far, space exploration robots have been lone fighters. Just think of the Mars rover Perseverance. It can perform an impressive number of tasks, but it has one big disadvantage. It weighs more than 1,000 kilograms and is rather slow. It can't cover much of Mars's gigantic surface. The swim robots, on the other hand, are much more agile. While the bigger cryobot could serve as a mothership or central control unit, the microbots could swarm out to do all kinds of tasks, individually or in groups. This could lead to much more precise measurements, but also be crucial regarding another aspect. In case there's nothing to be found at the place the drilling took place, the microbots could still travel to different places. To sum it up, where there's liquid water present, it's more likely to find life. And the chance of finding signs of aquatic extraterrestrial life could be much higher with a swarm of robotic fish. But overall, the chances to detect intelligent life underwater are rather slim. When it comes to extraterrestrial civilizations, even the most optimistic calculations assume a long distance between them. A study from 2018 estimates a total of 36 intelligent life forms in the Milky Way, with an average distance of 17,000 light years between potential civilizations. Jupiter is less than one light hour away, so finding intelligent life on its moon Europa seems statistically highly unlikely.